cost of living and taxes. So taxes are quite less in Edmonton, Alberta. Alberta is the uh, tax haven actually. So it has five uh, percent GST and all. So on any anything that you are going to buy or on your uh, SIM cards or wh whatever services you are going to use, a maximum tax is five percent. And uh, even the income tax taxes are also less in Alberta. Also, cost of living in terms of accommodation and groceries are also quite less. So you are going to save a lot of money. So it can be half of what you what you are going to pay in Ontario or in uh, uh, British Columbia. So it is it is quite a great place. I I still miss living in Edmonton because I was quite relaxed when I was there. And uh, here I am paying kind of twenty five hundred dollar per month in rent. And there it was 1200 uh, approximately, less than half. So uh, there is a big, big difference in rents and also grocery prices in BC are far higher compared to uh, Edmonton. So uh, it is it is going to be a really cost-effective uh, place for you without any doubt. The next is Indian community in Edmonton. Yes, uh, there is a big Indian community in, in Edmonton. So it's on South side, mostly you are going to find uh, uh, places where Indians are uh, well-established. Uh, Millwoods is one place. I guess there are a uh, lot more other places as well where you are going to find so many Indians. So you may find your friends, family members, anyone, someone uh, living in Edmonton. So they can pick you uh, one uh, for the first time when you are landing in Edmonton. So you, uh, search for your uh, uh, Facebook and Instagram. You can find many people living in Edmonton as well. Next is job scenario in Edmonton. So I found that Edmonton has uh, so many companies and where the tech jobs are also available, non-tech jobs are also available, banking jobs. So so, so many types of jobs are uh, available in Edmonton. It is the capital of Alberta. So don't worry about uh, your job prospects. So uh, again, I have already shared that if you are unable to find jobs uh, on South side, you can try North side as well and different parts of Edmonton. Edmonton is quite big. So you can search for your jobs in different locations, different parts of Edmonton. And uh, where uh, less number of students are living, in that case, you have more prospects of job on the, those parts. My wife, Anjali, she got a job in uh, uh, Fresco, which is a grocery retail chain. So uh, you can try different, different uh, prospects of job in different parts of Edmonton. So don't worry about your jobs, part-time and full-time. Uh, all kinds of jobs are available. There is Appcore, Suncore. These, these big companies are also there. Uh, electricity and I guess uh, these are petroleum companies, I believe. And these are really big companies and you can try your tech jobs as well in these companies because they have IT jobs, finance jobs, all kinds of jobs are available in these companies. Last but not the least, people are worried about cold and snow, but don't worry about cold and snow because there are going to be like five, seven days, which are going to be really cold, really windy. Uh, rest of the days are going to be fine. Edmonton has most number of sunny days, so don't worry about cold and snow in Edmonton. And all the buildings are heated, so don't worry about uh, uh, cold and snow. Uh, it is going to be outside, you are going to enjoy it. Inside, it is going to be perfectly fine. Thank you so much for watching this video till then. See you in next video.